Midnight City, the Alternian moon of Medier. All right, you bunch of rap scallions, listen up. Oh boy, heist time, I can't wait. Keep it together, clubs. Oops, my sincerest apologies. As you three may know, we are in thickets for financials. After that bastard English ran our casino ragged, we've been struggling to pay any sorts of bills. Even the ones on this here headquarters. Normally we wouldn't have to hit rock bottom so fast, but one of you idiots insisted on wiring all the funds to a fucking hat collection. Upon discovering this, Droop took it upon himself to blow those hat selling bastards to hell. They ain't gonna be conning us then, that's for sure. Oh, the haberdashery. What was that runt? Uh, there was nothing, nothing at all. You two, before you stop beating the hell out of each other, let me at least get to the point. We've always been cordial with English and his felt. We've been scratching at each other's backs for ages, letting his little antics slide as long as he lets ours be. But English crossed a line nobody should damn dare cross. He took our way of living and shot it in the fucking face. We may be permanently scarred, but what he don't realize is we're gonna fire back fourfold. English has his muppets, but we got ourselves four hardened killing machines. And when our backs get clawed, we sure as hell are gonna claw theirs right the fuck back. Vive la midnight crew! Will you cut your shit out? We're not done here. Precisely, Droog. Would you like to announce tonight's festivities? Alright, gentlemen. When Spade Slick means revenge, you damn well bet that it's gonna be spectacular. If you look at this map here, you'll see the felt hideout. It's got a plethora of rooms with tons of miscellaneous shit that we will not be raiding. Instead, our objective is something greater. We will be breaking into English's vault, stealing his prized items, and burning his entire mansion along the way. We ain't aiming for some ordinary heist, brothers. We are aiming for annihilation. If I can find the bathrooms, can we flood them too? The fuck is wrong with you? If we light it on fire, we ain't gonna flood it. But that's the irony of it. Not only are we burning the filth of the ground, but we're also flooding whatever survives the fire. Clubs, if it'll shut you up, you can flood any bathrooms you find. Hooray! In a minute, I will get into the actual plan. It is extremely convoluted and complex, much to Slick's liking. So before I begin, are there any other questions? No, Clubs, you cannot wear that piece of shit calamari looking hat. Shoot! I have one. Do you know what happens when one mixes fire and water? Ooh. Does it make steam? Precisely. Uh, Clubs, I think you best be quiet. Au contraire, boxcars. I am interested to hear how much Mr. Deuce knows about steam. Uh, well, uh, it's hot. Uh, that's all I got? Disappointing. You gentlemen wouldn't happen to know how locomotives are powered, would you? Wait a minute. Is it using steam? Yes. What do you want, Scratch? It is not what I want, but rather what the universe requires. I know that I cannot convince you to step back from your plans to ransack Lord English's mansion. As it is already and has already been set in stone that it will happen. But I can give you a bit of a forecast of the events to come. Tell me, gentlemen, have any of you been hit by a locomotive? Well, I got hit hard once back on desk with some kitty rocket ride. Did it hurt? Well, yeah, my shell's still dented, but Droog's medic friends patched me right up and stopped bleeding. Now, imagine being hit by a full-size, non-stopping locomotive. Would that hurt? Well, now we're talking more than hurt. Very good, dude. More than hurt, indeed. I could not have said it better myself. Well, I could have. Obviously. But it was already predetermined that I would not even make an attempt. Wait, where's this fucking shadow? It appears that I lost you. Very well. I will skip through all of this fluff and get straight to the meat of my monologue, as I'm sure that many would be dying for me to do if they were spectating through some sort of view terminal. Wait. See, if you dare intrude on Lord English's manor, you are basically jumping straight in front of a moving train. And the more water and fire mixed to create steam, the faster said train is going to make all four of you 
more than hurt. Trains? I thought we was talking about locomotives. Same thing, Deuce. Scratch, we ain't got no business with you. So cut your bullshit warnings and get out of here. I assure you these are not warnings. They are facts of how the future will play out. All of you will die. And there is nothing you can do about that. We ain't playing your kitty games, Scratch. Oh, I know. In fact, you four have a busy night ahead of you and cannot be bothered with my ramblings. So, let me get you started. You need a ride to the mansion, and I would love to entertain myself with your wacky antics. Therefore, I will provide the means through which you get there. I will prove to be a most effective chauffeur. Once you're there, have at it. Kill as many of the felt as you like. Make a dead list. Start a gunfight. Go wild. Because regardless of what you do, I already know what it will be. And I have already known for all of eternity. Oh, and before I forget, not that I can. If you're worried about running into Lord English early, fret not. He is already here. <laughs> oh. You are now spade slick. And, uh, you have a blistering fucking headache. You swear when you find that cubal headed freak, you're gonna shove your horse hitcher right up his velvety puppet ass. Ugh, five seconds in and the felt is already up and active. Some asshole is running around swapping everyone's hats, and by asshole, you mean itchy, and by running, you mean on the floor because, oops, you tripped him. <laughs> you don't have time for this shit. Four out of fourteen felt dead. Dai appears in front of you, probably about to pull the usual shtick of trying to talk you out of bashing his head in with your horse itcher. Ah, uh, hi, Slick! Long time no- <laughs> Unfortunately for him, it isn't up for discussion. Five out of fourteen fell dead. Looks like he was once again using that little doll of his. Each member of the Feld has some sort of time manipulation device. It's bad enough already that most every one of them is incompetent, but then you give time travel to these fuckers? It's mildly inconveniencing at best. And at worst, your headache can't even fathom the worst to come. You forget what this doll does, but you figure it has something to do with hopping across timelines. Wait, that is probably exactly what it does. You decide to test it out by pulling the crimson pin. Unbeknownst to you, you teleport to a timeline where Crowbar, the leader amongst English's felt, is now alive. You pop into the middle of a gunfight. Loud sounds only serve to agitate your headache. But before you can even utter a swear, the gunfight halts. An unbelievably overwhelming feeling of dread hangs over you. Snowman has arrived. Did you miss me, Slick? Fuck no. Now, now. No need to cry. Ah, god fucking damn it. Ah, my fucking eye. Fuck, god damn. You fucking bitch, why? Ah, god Snowman damn Snowman walks bitch. off, that much to the agitation of the you and your companions. Asshole. Yet, you no one bitch. dares to shoot. God, she dies, that's it. it. Universe over. No continues. You lose all your quarters, and the arcade machine gets wheeled out of the place and thrown into a dump like the obsolete piece of shit it is. The worst part 
is that she knows it and taunts the hell out of you at every turn. She's always keen to walking into the middle of these gunfights. You figure at this point, she's just fucking with both sides for her own sick amusement. What's up, Slick? You wanna play a game? It's called Slick Get the Fuck Out of My House Simulator 2017. Let's do this shit. Looks like Solbuck caught on to your arrival. You decide to give him a friendly hand. On Lance into Torsa. Once again, acting on impulse, you stab Solbuck with your lance. Much to your own dismay. The problem is that that bastard is so morbidly obese that he can survive an unfathomable amount of flesh wounds. To top off the icing on this idiot's cake, he takes whatever unlucky son of a bitch that wounded him to a random point in the timeline. For the record, Sawbuck never actually got any time abilities. His astronomical weight just bends the space-time continuum. Slick, you'll be hearing from my lawyer for this. God damn it. Hopping in time only serves to worsen your headache. You decide to take out your rage and stitch and crowbar. Oh. Okay. I think that may have caused some major drain damage. There we go, and you're not even in the felt mansion anymore. Wait. Is that you? Oh, for the love of- It is you. This shit is getting too convoluted, even by your standards. Screw this! Deciding you're done dealing with the temporal hoofby shit, you take it upon yourself to not crowbar the fuck out and steal the weapon that provides for a shitty nomenclature. How? You even steal his body while you're at it. You're fed up with these goddamn puppet people. Slick! You're breaking the rules! You're not supposed to put him in your chest after winning! You're supposed to flip it turn way! Oh! The old slash across the face trick happens every time. Finally, this is starting to get retarded. Hey, Slick, how's your day treating you? Shut the fuck up. You then proceed to have boxcars do the thing in which he deploys his wrath tub and stuffs the bodies in it. You put the crimson pin back into the doll and warp back to your own timeline. Unbeknownst to you, you are now in a timeline defined by Crowbar being dead. Despite having an alive, or at least slightly alive, Crowbar stuffed in the wrath tub, but why would you give a shit about that? It's unbeknownst to you, stupid. Slick, I swear to fuck, I'm gonna fucking kill you right here. Crowbar, what the fuck? Either help me kill him, or get out of the way, you fat fuck! Hey, don't talk to him like that! Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be don't talk to me like that? Man, this time travel shit's confusing. Billy is slick, just shut up! The two would proceed to shoot each other repeatedly, hopping through a vast amount of random points on the timeline. You assume that they are dead by the blood and destruction left everywhere. 7 out of 14... Wait, 6 out of 14? Ah, uh, whatever. Some arbitrary number of felt dead. You think you're done keeping track since Solbuck's fat ass fucked up everything. You're welcome, you piece of shit! The fuck did I just say? Looks like you were one step ahead of them. As you contemplate why your joke fell flat, Drew calls you up. Slick, are you there? What's your current status, Drew? Currently in a Mexican standoff with Stitch and Dos. He says he'll let me go if I leave Dos with him. As nice as it sounds, I ain't taking that risk. Wait, with Dos too? Like as in, against you? Yep. The fuck is he doing? I don't know, but he stormed in here with a penis in his hand saying he's ready to explode while doing a moronic little jig. You decide not to respond to that. Instead, to break the ice, you receive a call. An unexpected call. From Boxcars. Hey, Boxcars. How's life treating you? Get your ass over here, Slick! You figure it's treating him the usual way. Being Slick is fun and all, but this adventure needs a bit of pizzazz. The character select screen momentarily pops up before the adventure decides to give the audience a stiff middle finger. And cut back to Slick. You call up Droog, 
to check up on him. Drew, status report. Stitch has been taken care of. I have him at gunpoint and I'm currently forcing him to make us effigies with our extra heads. You mean those body double what's-its that take damage when you do? That's a heavy-handed way of expositing it, but yeah. If you got one of my spare hats, put it on one and tell Stitch to fix up my eye. I ran into Snowman a while back. He's already on it. Perfect. Say, do you have any idea what Deuce has actually done, other than being a complete nuisance? Well... Oh boy, story time! You are now Club's Deuce, and you are currently torturing Dills. Alright, wise guy. This is either gonna be the super easy way, or the super not easy way. Where's the bathroom? He doesn't respond, either out of fear or sheer confusion. You decide to try drubbing him on the noggin with your bull penis cane. Holy shit, this is a bull penis cane? You proceed to flip the fuck out for the next few minutes over the fact that you have a bull penis cane. But Doze still doesn't respond. He instead turns to his time ability, which is to create a field of slowed down time around him. Joke's on him, though. Oh, I guess this is gonna be the super not easy way. You place a time bomb on his head, and for some reason, C4 on yours. Wait, why did you place it on your head? You know what, it doesn't matter. You receive a call from Droog to keep you from thinking that pointless thought. Those, I need a fake. Oh boy, I like favors, especially when they're needed. Yeah, yeah, so you got any felt members currently tied up? That is exactly what I have. And you still got those explosives? Yes, explosives are most certainly a thing I still have. Cut the asshole, Doc Deuce. Yeah, I got the explosives. Alright, cause I'm dealing with Trace and Finn here. Aren't those the two that can follow people's paths in time? Yeah, Trace can follow where you've been, and Finn can follow where you're going. Oh man, I'm definitely not gonna remember the difference. Listen, I already pumped Finn full of lead. <laughs> And Trace seems to be hot on my trail, so I need you to bring that Dulls with you while you go out looking for the bathrooms. It should give me some breathing room. Perfect! Will do, Droog! You then proceed to serpentine your way through the felt mansion, looking for a bathroom along the way. As a result, Finn is unable to shoot you down, while Trace... well... <laughs> Stitch! They all smarted me! Shit! Finn, what happened? The crew... They want revenge! For what? I don't know. They ain't done nothing, but they came to kill us off. They already got itchy, and... Finn, take it easy. I'll get you patched up in no time at... <sighs> oh. Shit. Everybody out of the goddamn way! I've got a hat full of bomb, a fist full of penis, and a head full of, uh... Wow, was I interrupting something? Finn. You killed Finn. Well, actually, that was Droog that, uh... Shut your fucking mouth, Rodan. You've pissed me off for the last time. Is that so? There's still plenty more times for him to piss you off. Droog? Why? Drop the gun, Stitch. Do you two have any clue what's going on with the box guys then? Oh, you know. I hate time travel, I hate time travel, I hate time travel! The usual. Fantastic. Let's go bail them out. Box guys, how'd you get yourself into this situation? You are now Hart's box cars, and you seem to have stumbled across a familiar looking oven on your way to the felt's main vault. Hi, Art! Remember me? Yeah, you do. It's Biscuits. It's Biscuits. Oh, god damn it. Usually, when alone, he ain't much of a problem, but you suspect that since things have already gone so piss poorly... Hi, Art! Remember me? It's Eggs! Hi, Eggs! Remember Art? Oh, hi, Biscuits! I do remember Hearts! There we fucking go. Eggs and Biscuits would proceed to multiply indefinitely. This is their temporal quirk. Biscuits has an oven that does jack shit, but when paired with Eggs' egg timer, they can teleport through time or something like that. It's moronic. The only way they can be stopped is through the breaking of the main egg timer. Which is precisely what Slick does. Using Crowbar's time property destroying Crowbar, as Slick, you swiftly lead the group to deal with the two idiots. Look, 
Looks like most everyone of the Feld is dead. Wait, what happened to Stitch? I put a hole through his chest. You're not even gonna try for wordplay there? I've had a rough day, Droog. Don't start this shit. Your day's about to get a whole lot rougher, boys. Cause guess what? It's your boy Clover. And oh boy, do I have some news for you ruffians. Clover appears, though why, you have no clue. Start talking, Runt. What do you know? Oh man, Diamonds, you are real good at the jokes, yo. You know pulling a gun on me is about the dumbest thing you could do. Slick informs Droog of his mistake. Clover's ability isn't even time related. He just simply has all of the luck. Too much, in fact. Makes him an arrogant little cunt. Call me what you want, but you know it's nothing compared to my luck. I got so much luck that both of y'all should probably go backwards through the gun and straight into your fucking head. Is that so? Tell me, how unlucky do you need to be to get swatted by a nude magazine? This is freaking messed up, yo! So I'ma ask you again, Runt, and this time I expect a goddamn answer. What do you know? Fine, fine! Remember cans? The room goes silent. And you know how he hates you idiots the most? No. And how he'd hate to come back to a mansion full of dead felt? Son of a bitch. And how he could bust through the walls at any moment like the fucking Kool-Aid man? Oh, fuck no. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Which one's Cans again? Oh, yeah. You sick fuck. You just knocked him in the next week. Don't worry, you're next. Not if I have anything to say on the matter. Go, ex torso. Use torso flail. The torso flail was not very effective. It does minimal damage. But. Ooh, he's on a nice horse themed calendar. Can you send me there too? Wait, Slick, what are you doing with. Your sudden opening of the vault has killed everyone but you. Well, you and her. You slowly answer, but are surprised by the lack of any actual treasure. The only thing in here is a familiar keyhole that you promptly use. It reveals a scanning device, to which you coincidentally have the card for. Son of a bitch! Nice high slick. I really gotta hand it to you. You know, slick? It's cute how you played right into my trap. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you didn't realize. I thought you would have been smarter than that, Slick. You never fail to disappoint me. The Feld ain't smart enough to run you ragged. At least not with that crowbar. So tell me, Slick. Who are the only free able to teleport at will? Say, in the middle of the vault of a certain cruel casino? And also, of those free? Who is the only one that would do so, specifically to fuck you over? God fucking damn it! See, if Slick. My arm now too, force my eye now my arm. Snowman God, disappears. <laughs> Likely to not you. be seen again. God, At least not off. by you. You suppose this means that you're trapped now. Stuck, if you will. Or rather, that you would be stuck, were it not for one specific quirk of this comic. You gotta flick it turn wave. With the code on your new bullshitted hand, you're able to enter. Say, this kid, he looks familiar. You've become an exile to a session of trolls, one that you have already played your part in, and now that you will continue to play your part in for however much longer you remain on this terminal. Given the nature of Scratch and Snowman, you figure that you were always destined to end up here. Whatever idea of free will you had has just been stepped on by the green velvety foot of English's felt. Fuck English. Just fuck him. The longer you spend looking at the stupid screen, the more agitated you get. And the more agitated you get, the more you begin to hate yourself. And the more you begin to hate yourself, the closer you come to a certain revelation until... Boom! It hits you like a full-size, non-stopping locomotive. It begins to dawn on you that everything you have done may prove to have been a colossal waste of time. 